the bowhead whale got its name because of its high jaw that reminded many of a bow. These whales are known to inhabit cold waters around the Arctic. Due to their habitat being so rich in food, they usually seem with their mouths wide open sieving water through their plates to strain out the tiny plankton. These whales thrive in the Arctic thanks to their thick layer of blubber. Researchers have discovered it's over one and a half feet thick, and this helps to protect them against the harsh conditions of the Arctic. Scientists also noted these whales had large scar marks all over their bodies, and it took them years to figure out why. It turns out that wildlife professionals observed the whales using themselves as battering rams through the ice. Due to how thick and sharp the ice is, it leaves deep cuts in the whales' bodies. However, it's believed that it doesn't hurt them. Incredibly, researchers have been able to find out that bowhead whales can eat up to two tons of plankton a day. These whales are on the decline, however, with approximately 10,000 to 25,000 being left in the wild. This is partly because bowhead whales are still being hunted by native whalers in the Arctic. Originally, it was thought that bowhead whales lived to around 50 to 60 years. However, in the past three decades, whalers have been finding old harpoons and spearheads from the 1800s embedded in the whales' hides. This showed scientists that bowhead whales can live much longer than 65 years, and it's believed that some bowhead whales that are swimming in the oceans today could be over 200 years old. It's made scientists question that the key to immortality may lie in the ocean. Like the bowhead whale, another creature that's fascinated scientists is that of the immortal jellyfish. This mysterious creature was discovered back in 1883. The discovery wouldn't come until years later. This was when the scientists observed the jellyfish attach itself to a surface in warm waters. After this, it slowly turns into a blob-like formation. Its muscle cells then start to turn into egg cells. Nerve cells may also turn into muscle cells and once this process is complete, the same jellyfish will start living its life like normal. Incredibly, it can do this as many times as it wants, and it does it most often when it's injured or close to death. Pharmaceutical research has taken an interest in this creature, and it could potentially mean that sometime in the future we'll be able to harness this ability. So what do you guys make of this? Do you think that immortality lies within our oceans? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.